Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tristar Pictures A2 back again. And for this video, I'm going to be showing off my long awaited PS3 collection. So, yep. As you can see, this right here is my PlayStation 3 system, which this is the PS3 Slim model, the, the original Slim model, not, not the new one that had just came out, which is kind of crap in my opinions. But, uh, yep, this is the PS3 Slim version 1 which came out in September of 2009. Now, I, I, I've had this since Christmas of that year. You know, I got this thing for Christmas in 2009. So, yep, that's pretty cool. But um, anyways, there's the front of the system. There's the side. The thing. And here's the back ports and all that stuff. So, um, yep, that's the PS3 system. And here are the two controllers that I have for it, as well as these um, PlayStation Move controls and the PS3 i camera. So, yep, now let's go ahead and get on with the PS3 games. Starting off here, I got Metal Gear Solid 4, which is a fantastic game. And, you know, I mean, I, I remembered when this game first came out back in, um, June of 2008 and and I've heard many good things about this game so I knew that when I when I um get a PS3 I had to um pick this game up so um yep it, it's pretty good okay next up I have here is um Soul Calibur 4 which is a, pr a really good fighting game you know, I mean, I remembered when this game played that came out, and I played the demo for it, and I was really impressed by the um, graphics and the, you know, fighting style. So, um, yep. Soul Calibur 4. Okay. Next up I have here is Saints Row 2. Now, of course, I'm a big um, Grand Theft Auto fan, and I gotta say, I, I really in, enjoyed Saints Row 2. I mean... Sadly, I never played the first one because, you know, the first one only came out on Xbox. But, um, yep, you know, but when I picked this up, I was really amazed by it. I mean, you know, I mean, like, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, except, you know, in this game, you create your own character. And the storyline is, uh, is that, um, you're a member of this game called the Saints and you have to, um, like, take over all these rival gangs and all that stuff. So, um, yep, Saints World 2. Alright, next up I have here is Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Now, if, if you're a big fan of um, old school gaming, especially 16-bit era gaming, then I highly recommend you check this out. I mean, I, I already own the um, Sega Genesis as well as my own collection of Sega Genesis games, but um, still, you know, this is cool to own because, you know, you get to play all the um, classic Sega Genesis games and HD, you know, I mean, and this is pro most likely the best, um, Genesis, uh, collection game available, because, um, they've in included a lot more Genesis games than the previous Sega Genesis collection game that came out on the PS2 and all that stuff, and, and plus they, they even included the Streets of Rage trilogy, which is a pretty good move, so, um, yep, that's Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection. Okay. Next up here is Killzone 2, you know, awesome first-person shooter. Now, I know you, a lot of you guys know that, um, how on Xbox they have, like, um, Halo as their best, um, first-person shooter. Well, Kill Killzone is basically the Halo of the PS3, so, um, yep, that's pretty cool. Next up here is um, Street Fighter 4, which was an alright Street Fighter game from what I played. Okay, next up I got here is Infamous 1, which I um, still need to play um, the new one, Infamous 2, which I'll probably download it on PSN, so, yep, Infamous 1. Okay, next up here is DJ Hero, which is a which was a great spin-off to the Guitar Hero series. I mean, you know, I, I had been a Guitar Hero fan since, like, Guitar Hero 3, and, 
and I also own Guitar Hero 4 World Tour, and, you know, when DJ Hero came out, you know, I was pretty impressed by it, you know, so I knew that I had to pick this game up. Now, I, I also got this game for Christmas along with my um, PS3, so, um, yep, and, and this game came with the turntable and everything and all that stuff, so, um, yep, I mean, I, I'm actually looking to, um, to, like, DJ in real life, because, you know, my, my cousin DJs at these, uh, events and all that stuff, so, um, yep, I should probably, like, get back into this game, or whatnot, so, alright, next up here is NBA 2K10, which is the only, um, basketball game that I own on the PS3, I mean, I know I have, have to own a, um, NBA 2K10, or NBA 2K or NBA Live game, on the PS3 and whatnot, because, you know, I have a bunch of them on PS2, so I went ahead and picked this one up, so, yep. Okay, next up I have here is Little Big Planet, which is a fun little game where, you know, you create your own little, um, little character things, and you create your own levels, and even play levels that other people had created online and all that stuff, so, um, Yep, now, it, it's a kid's game, you know, it's rated E, so, you know, there's no, like, like blood or viol or any of that violence in it, so. Okay, next up here is Heavy Rain, which, you know, this is a, a kind of an interactive type of game where, you know, the storyline of this game is that you're trying to track down this um, child killer and you play as these four different characters trying to, um, look for this killer. Now, and, and of course, you know, you have to, like, select the moves and actions that the characters take, and, um, if you're not careful, the, the, um, character could die, and the, the storyline will continue without them, so, um, yep, you know, I, I beat it this game three times in the row, and, and the most recent time I beat it this game, I got the best ending possible, so... Yep, you know, it's a pretty good game. You know, I hope they make a second one, but, but this time make Heavy Rain 2 be about a completely different killer, you know, whether it's a rapist or whatnot, and have, like, four completely different characters and all that stuff, but still the same concept, you know, you select their moves and actions and all that stuff, so, yep. Alright. Next up here is God of War 3. Awesome game, I mean... I remember playing God of War 1 and 2 on the on the PS2, so, um, yep, and, and God of War 3, this is a, a really good addition to the God of War franchise, so, um, yep, if you own a PS3, then you should most definitely check out this game, so, that's God of War 3, alright, next up here is Borderlands, which is, a uh, Another good one. Now, um, of course, Borderlands 2 had just recently came out, so I should also check that one out since I already liked Borderlands 1, so, yep. Alright, next up here is, um, Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City, which are basically, um, two new Grand Theft, newer Grand Theft Auto games to, um, Grand Theft Auto 4s, which were, um, the Lost in the Demand and the Ballad of the Gay Tony. Now, I didn't get into the Lost in the, in the Demand that much, but the Ballad of Gay Tony was was all right. So, um, yep. And of course, the the new Grand Theft Doll Five is coming out soon, so I should also check that one out. Okay, next up here is Sports Champions, which is a game that I got with my PlayStation Move controller and everything. So, um. Yep, you know, it's basically kind of like a, a sports game where you use the PlayStation Move controllers, and, you know, you play like frisbee and sword fighting and volleyball and all that stuff, so, yep, sports champions. Okay, next up here is Rock Rock Band 3, which is a good one, you know, I I, I bought this game along with the um, the new electric keyboard thing, you know, and, and of course I also own the... Um, the original Rock Band guitar controller for my PlayStation 3, so, yep, Rock Band 3. Okay, next up here is Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 
which I, I thought was a good addition to the Call of Duty franchise. I mean, now I'm not necessarily like like a Call of Duty freak, you know. I mean, I don't I don't see the point of buying these games every year it comes out. You know, I mean, I can understand getting it two or three years because that's when the games really get more features and the graphics are a lot better. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I still need to check out the the new Black Ops 2 when I get the chance. So, um, yep. It's all the Black Ops. Okay. Next up here is Killzone 3, an even better game than Killzone 2. I mean, if you if you already enjoyed um, Killzone 2, then... You'll most definitely enjoy Killzone 3. I mean, you know, they took everything I liked about Killzone 2 and made it better for this game. So, yep. All right. Next up here is um, You Star 2 in the movies, which which is a cool concept to, like, um, you know, be able to um, play in, like, these different scenes in these um, classic movies, you know, for, like, a couple of clips and all that stuff. But, um... However, you know, the the camera focus thing in this game is, like, really bad. I mean, you, you have to have, like, perfect lighting in your room and, you know, not so many, like, objects around. Otherwise, it'll just blur out and all that stuff. So, uh, I don't really know what to say about this one. So, yep. Okay. Next up here is probably my favorite fighting game of this generation of gaming, and that is Mortal Kombat. You know, if you're a fan of the Mortal Kombat games like I am, then, you know, this game is a must-own. Now, this game is kind of basically like um, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, because it has all, all the um, Mortal Kombat fighters in it and everything, you know, with um, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, now, since this is the... PlayStation 3 version, you know, there's a, um, exclusive content where you get to play as, um, Kratos from God of War, so, that's pretty cool. And, and this game also has a, a story mode, which is pretty interesting, so, yep, you know, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, then, then you must own this game. You know, I mean, how can you not be a Mortal Kombat fan and not own this one, so, yep. Alright. Next up here is Saints Row the Third, which I thought was a was a pretty good um, addition to the Saints Row series. Now, um, now unlike Saints Row Two, in in this game you're trying to um, well, as I said before, in Saints Row Two you're um, helping the Saints take over all these different rival games, but in Saints Row the Third you're trying to help the Saints stop this. Um, military group called Stag from completely taking over the Saints, you know, getting rid of all the gang area and stuff, but, um, yep, you know, this was a pretty good third Saints Row game from what I played, you know, I mean, I, I've already, um, beat this game twice, so, yep. Absolutely enjoy it. Okay, next up here is... Final Fantasy XIII 2, which I've recently started playing, you know, since I I um, play a couple of the um, Final Fantasy games, and um, from what I've played, you know, this one was okay, and all that stuff. I mean, I haven't played the um, the first Final Fantasy XIII, which I, I probably should, since I already own the second one, but um, if, if you guys already played the um, first one, let, let me know and tell me how, if it's any good or not, so, yep. Final Fantasy 13 2. And the last game I have right here is Lollipop Chainsaw, which is a pretty hilarious game. I mean, you play as this, you know, trash talking cheerleader and you have to kill off all these zombies with their chainsaw and everything and all that stuff. So, um, yep, you know, pretty hilarious game. So, yep, that's pretty much it for my PlayStation 3 collection. And I will be back with some more videos later. Peace out, guys.